Hey babes, so summer's coming up around the corner and I've decided to make a DIY matching set for you all. If you like what you see, please keep watching. So you're going to use a big unwanted t-shirt like this one and I'm marking it across my body. Now I'm laying it down and I'm remembering where I had placed the markings and I'm going to cut across that. But I am leaving some space for the bottom piece just because I will be making those into shorts and I want to make sure I have enough space for that. done cutting the top off I'm putting that aside now I'm going to make my shorts so you're going to fold it in half like this just to measure it make sure it's even on both sides and now you're gonna cut out kind of a curve at the very end if you need help to figure out what curve to guide you just get a pair of shorts from your own closet fold it in half vertically and just place it on the edge of this fabric and it'll show you now once you cut that curve out, now you're going to fold it in half and you're going to just trace it again and cut out the same exact curve on the other side of this fabric. Now I have placed it inside out and I am using a sewing machine right where the curve is. I have split the two fabrics from each other by cutting it. So I am only sewing where I had cut out the curve and that is only it. I am sewing both sides of the curves and you can also hand sew this but I prefer sewing machines just because it will give me long lasting results on my shorts. As you can see, if you have put the two curves together, they already look like shorts. Now you are going to sew the crotch area together. I had also decided to reverse it just to show you what it looks like from inside out. And you can see the shorts are coming along together and they look so cute. I'm going to place pins to help guide me sew together the crotch area. As you can see earlier, it looked like I would have to curve it, but honestly, you're going to sew a straight line. are going to move on to the waistband I have created it rolled it up and I'm going to pin this down completely pin it down you are going to sew it but when you sew it do not completely close the seam all the way through just because you're going to feed it the elastic band soon so here's the elastic band I had measured it around my waist 
Now I'm going to use a safety pin on one end and close it. And I'm going to put it at the open seam that I did not close up. The elastic band throughout the whole entire waist area. Then you are going to close both ends, either tie it or sew it. I um, ended up tying it or putting my safety pin to lock it in together in case if I do lose weight or gain some weight, I can be able to adjust it. Ta-da! So it is finally complete. I am in love with the results and how it turned out. I cannot wait to try it on for you guys. If you can, please comment, subscribe, and like below.